Allah says in Surah Muhammad, chapter number 47, verse number 38. Wa in tatawallo. Yes, tabdu common gairakum. Summa laikunam salakum. If you do not do your job, if you turn away from Allah's path, Allah will substitute in your place another people. Summa laikunam salakum. And they will not be like you. Allah tells in the Quran in Surah Muhammad, chapter number 47, verse number 38. Wa in tatawallo. If you do not do your job, if you turn away from Allah's path, yes, tabdu common gairakum. Allah will substitute in your place another people, summa laikunam salakum, and they will not be like you. And this example we see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first chose the Jews to deliver his message. They were the chosen people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but they were very proud. They did not follow Allah's commandments. If you read the Quran, more than 75% of the messengers of the prophets mentioned in the Quran, they are Jews. Majority. The Jews, they were the chosen people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But they did not follow Allah's commandments. Allah gives the example in Surah Jummah, chapter number 6 to verse number 5, that the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Mosaic law was given to the Jews. But they did not do the obligations. Their example, their similitude is that like donkeys on whose back is tomes, tons of books, and they understand it not. The Jews were the chosen people, but they did not follow the commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They did not follow the message. So Allah gives the similitude that they are like donkeys on whose backs is tomes, tons of books, and they understand it not. And the same message is given in the Bible. If you read the Bible in the Gospel of Matthew, Chapter number 21, verse number 43, it says that the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to those nations who shall bear fruit of it. That means if you do not follow Allah's commandments, if you do not follow the commandment of God, in Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21, verse 43, it says that the kingdom of God will be taken away from you and given to the nation who shall bear fruit thereof. And we have these examples. The Jews, they were proud. They said, we are the chosen people. And Allah has his own way. If you do not follow Allah's commandments, what he does, the people you look down upon, he brings them from the dirt and makes them to sit on your head. And the Jews, they looked down upon the Arabs. 14 years back, the Arabs were looked down upon the Jews. And those days, it was called as Jamil Jahiliya, the days of the ignorance. The Arabs were the ignorant people that time. And they were so ignorant that they did the tawaf around the Kaaba naked. They had a philosophy. How can we present ourselves to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala better than the way we came in this world? So they did the tawaf around the Kaaba naked. They were that ignorant. What does Allah do? If you do not follow his commandment, Allah will substitute into place another people. Summa laikunam salakum and they will not be like you. So Allah brings these Arabs and through the revelation of the glorious Quran, he makes these Arabs who were called the most ignorant people as the torch bearers of the world. He makes the people you look down upon to sit on your head. And we find that after the revelation of the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes the Arabs as the most enlightened people. But we should not be proud like the Jews. If we start being proud like the Jews, Allah says, yes, common gairakum, summa laikunam salakum. If you do not do your job, if you do not follow the commandment, Allah will substitute in your place another people, summa laikunam salakum, and they will not be like you. And we have the example in Spain. We Muslims, we rule Spain for about 800 years, but we did not convey the message. We did not give da'wah. What does Allah do? Allah wipes out the Muslims. There was not a single Muslim who could openly give the Azan in Spain. The Crusaders came and they wiped out the Muslims. We did not do the job. We didn't convey our message. So now Allah is giving us a warning. And we see the ups and downs in history that if we do not do the job, if we do not convey the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when Allah is giving us hidayah to the non-Muslims, Allah will substitute in your place another people, summa lakinam salakum, and they will not be like you.